When we come to printing our work in Excel, it's not as straightforward as printing with Word, where we have documents and pages. In Excel, we have grids and the potential to have extremely large worksheets. Remember, up to 16,000 columns? Our worksheets are spread out and won't necessarily fit onto a page. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the commands used with printing to make our printed copy readable. Now Excel 2010, we get to our printing commands by clicking on our File tab and from the left hand side selecting Print. If you're using Excel 2007, you'll find you need to click on your Microsoft Office button and then from Print on the left hand side you'll find Print, Quick Print and Print Preview. Now on the right hand side of our print we get our print preview and we can see straight away that our work on the steam train special for February the 4th doesn't fit onto one page we're going to take two pages to fit everything on so we need to make some adjustments to that later on our commands are on the left hand side we have our print command when we're ready to print the number of copies which printer we're going to use and then our settings. So we can print the active sheet which is currently the steam train special and we'll take a look to recap on how we can select number of sheets at the same time. We can print the entire workbook and we can print the selection. I'll show you how we do that shortly. We can select how many pages we're going to print So if we had one to five pages, we can select which pages we want here. Collated, that means we can print ten copies. It will print one, two, three, and then one, two, three again. Uncollated, it would just print page one ten times, page two ten times. Page orientation, currently portrait orientation and we have landscape orientation. If I click on landscape orientation you can see that this is a better layout for page one of our steam train special. Paper A4 currently selected we can have a number of things there we can have A6 we can have envelopes etc and then our margins and scaling. And What I'm going to do with this on our steam train special is I'm actually going to scale this down so I click on scale, I've got the option to fit sheet on one page, fit all columns on one page, fit all rows on one page, depending on the work we're doing. So let's try and fit all on one page. And there's the full steam train special for February the 4th account fitted onto one page. Now rule of thumb, if you reduce your work by more than 50%, it will be unreadable. And then at the bottom of the page we've got page setup. Orientation we've already done. Scaling down you can see I've gone down to 82% and the paper size. Margins, headers, footers and then the sheet and actually I can add grid lines in if I wanted to add the grid lines and I could add row and column headings if I had rows and column headings. So there's a number of options to work through when you're going through in your printing. Now I'm just going to go back briefly to our sheet selection. So back to our home tab and if you remember if we want to print a number of sheets but not the whole workbook. So if I wanted to print sheets 1 and 2 I hold down my CTRL key and select the sheets that I want to do. So those sheets are selected, sheets 1 and 2. Right click to unselect groups, ungroup sheets. Now going back to printing with sheet 2, if I look at my print preview you can see it looks nothing like the actual thing on sheet 2, it's just got half of the work on there. So on this occasion we're going to select our work, go back to print and instead of print active sheets 
print selection. With larger pieces of work we have more options by using our page layout and we can use the page setup, set print area, we can put page breaks in and we can print the titles if we want to using these commands here. Thanks very much.